lost to the Reds in that great World Series. Basketball now open both ways. In 1970, for the first time in 16 years, this team won the NBA World Championship led by league MVP Willis Reed. Oklahoma camp. The New York Knicks. The New York Knicks is correct. They beat the Lakers in seven games. In 1981, your extra point question, the Houston Rockets went to the NBA Finals for the first time in team history, led by this imposing center. Name him. Moses Malone. Moses Malone, that's right. Olympics now open to both schools. At the 1984 Olympic Games, who won the gold medal in the first women's marathon? Cam, Oklahoma. Joan Benoit. Joan Benoit is right. It's a hot buzzer you got over there, pal. The Olympics now is your uh, extra point question. In the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City, two American medalists rankled the U.S. Olympic Committee by raising their fists in a black power salute. Name these two athletes. Smith and Carlos. That's exactly right. John Carlos and Tommy Smith. Very good. Baseball now open to both. In what mythical baseball town was there no joy in the poem Cam, Oklahoma? Mudville. Yeah, Mudville is right. And your extra point is a uh, visual uh, extra point. Sometimes you have to take the bad with the good. Now look at the picture. Tell me in what two categories this man led the American League in his first season with the Angels. Led the American League in two categories. Home runs and strikeouts. Right. <clears throat> Reggie Jackson did both a lot. <laughs> football now. Let's go back to both. In what collegiate football conference does the University of North Carolina play? Oklahoma. I ACC. That's right. They play basketball and other sports in there, too. <laughs> and football is your extra point question. In the early days of college football, one of the dominant teams took the field while their fans crowded the stands wearing raccoon coats, holding hip flasks, and singing the thrilling fight song, Bula Bula. Name that Ivy League school. Yale. That's right. One of the great places for college football, yeah, the Yale Bowl, about 15 minutes from where I live. That's, of course, Yale and New Haven, Connecticut. Basketball now to both schools. How many minutes of actual playing time are there in an NCAA regulation Miami Bill? 40 minutes. That's right. Basketball game. That's right. Extra point now for Miami. Each year, the Sullivan Trophy is awarded to America's outstanding amateur athlete. Two basketball players named Bill, Bill, have won that award. Name either one of these athletes. Bill Walton. Bill Walton was one. Bill Bradley was also. Nice going, Bill. Oklahoma. See, Switzer needed you guys. All right, at the half, if you will, Oklahoma leads Miami 200 to 60 as round two is over. We've got two rounds to go, though. We'll be back in a moment to Boardwalk and Baseball. All right, back at Boardwalk and Baseball, I'm Chris Berman along with Miami of Florida and Oklahoma. The Sooners lead at 200 to 60 as we enter round three of our Super Bowl of Sports trivia. This is a little different, guys, and our audience at home. We have four categories, baseball, football, basketball, or sports page, which is general sports knowledge. And uh, you each get to choose one category, at which point each question will be worth 10 points. It's up to you, and you will have five seconds to confer. But if you answer incorrectly, the 10-point option now goes to the other team, which they can answer in addition to their own category. Now, Miami, you're behind, so Bill, what category would you like? We select baseball. All righty, so Miami goes with baseball, warm weather school for baseball. Oklahoma, that leaves you the other three. Cam? Sounds like we'll take football, Chris. Yeah, I would think so, from Oklahoma. <laughs> okay, so we will start with Miami of Florida, and each question is worth 10 points. Let's go to round three. When first baseman Wally Pipp was taken out of the lineup in 1925, who replaced him? Lou Gehrig. Yeah, Lou Gehrig replaced him for about uh, a couple of decades almost. That's correct. Football for Oklahoma. Who was the first man in Super Bowl history to rush for more than 100 yards twice? Was it Franco Harris, Larry Zonka, or Marcus Allen? Answer camp. Franco Harris. No. That's not correct. In Miami, this opens it up for you. Was it uh, Franco Harris, Larry Zonka, or Marcus Allen? Larry Zonka. Yeah, played for Miami, and you got it. So you pick up the 10 points. And now a baseball question. Name the three major league players who have hit 600 or more home runs lifetime. Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, Willie Mays. That's right, and that's the correct order, too. 755, 714, and 660 for Mays, correct for 10. Football for Oklahoma. In 1982, 
The highly praised defense of the Miami Dolphins was called the Killer Bees. But this NFL team simply overpowered the Bees in the Super Bowl with a massive offensive line nicknamed the Hogs. Name this huge NFL team. The Washington Redskins. That is correct. They won on Riggins' big run in the fourth quarter. Super Bowl in uh, Pasadena. Baseball now for Miami. This guy was Steve Carlton's personal catcher, and he has received rave reviews since then as a broadcaster for ABC and the New York Mets. Who is he? He's Tim McCarver. He certainly is. That's right. One of the best for sure. Football for Oklahoma. Which college claims for its football teams the nickname the Horned Frogs? Is it Texas A&M, Texas Christian, or Western Arizona State? Texas Damn. Christian. TCU, the Horned Frogs, one of the top 20 nicknames, as dubbed by yours truly in all of college sports. Back to baseball. What ballpark, Miami, was he in when Billy Martin said, if this is a ballpark, I'm a Chinese aviator? How about the Metrodome? Yeah, nobody likes that place except the Minnesota Twins who win World Series in it. So you've closed the 220-110, to 110, Miami. Football now for Oklahoma. What NFL quarterback won two Super Bowl rings before he ever played a down in the league? Is he Don Strock, Cliff Stout, or Ken Stabler? It's Cliff Stout, Chris. It certainly is. He sat on the bench and watched the Steelers win, and he gets rings over here. All right, baseball for Miami. Which of these willies holds the National League record for most career grand slams? Willie Stargell, Willie McCovey, or Willie Mays? Willie McCovey. That's right. Number 44 had 18 grand slams in his career with uh, somebody's favorite team, the Giants. Football for Oklahoma. When this NFL All-Star isn't playing football, he sometimes slips into his capizios and performs with the Chicago Ballet. Is this man Walter Payton, Jim McMahon, or Willie Gault? Willie Gault. Willie Gault is correct for 10 points. Miami, your baseball question. This manager managed in the majors for a record... 53 years. Is he Connie Mack, Gabby Hartnett, or Casey Stengel? Connie Mack. I guess stomachs were stronger then because Connie Mack <laughs> gutted it out for 53 years. Philadelphia A's and uh, later on uh, Pittsburgh. All right, football for Oklahoma. Although he played his last college football game more than a decade ago, his career mark of 59 points scored is still a record. Name this University of Pittsburgh standout. Tony Dorsett. Tony Dorsett is correct. And that ends round number three. Oklahoma leads 250 to 130. But we have our 100-second race to see who will end up as the victor. So get your thinking tooks on, as the McKenzie brothers once said. And we'll be right back. Orange Bowl rematch. Oklahoma leading Miami this time, 250 to 130. This is our 100-second dash. As we find a winner, we call it our lightning round. I'll ask as many questions, players, as I can in 100 seconds. You hit the buzzer, it's very simple. If you're right, you get 10 points. If you're wrong, we'll move along to another question, but you lose 10 points for your team. After it's all over, I'll ask, I'll resolve all the wrong answers, and we ask the audience to hold their applause because the players have a lot to think about here. So, everybody ready? With Oklahoma the lead going into the fourth quarter. The wind has shifted, maybe, and let's start the clock. Name the NBA star who was known as the Big E. Miami Todd. Elvin Hayes. Elvin Hayes is correct. What National Football League team holds the record for most league championship seasons? Miami Todd. Uh, Packers. Green Bay Packers is right. Name one of the two conferences in hockey. Miami Todd. Adams. No, that's wrong. In professional baseball, what is the distance between the bases? Cam, Oklahoma. 90 feet. 90 feet is right. How many fullbacks are there on a soccer team? Oklahoma Cam. Four. No, that's wrong. What NFL owner was once commissioner of the American Football League? Cam, Oklahoma. Al Davis. Al Davis is right. What Detroit Tigers pitcher won 31 games in Bill, Miami? Danny McLean. Danny McLean did, 68. In Super Bowl history, which was the first team to prevent the opposition from scoring a touchdown? Miami, Bill. The Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, against Miami, that's right. In the 1972 Summer Olympic Games took place in what city? Oklahoma Cam. Munich. Munich is right. In his NBA career, how many times did Will Chamberlain foul out? Miami, Bill. Zero. Zero is right. Name the yacht Dennis Conner was sailing when he lost. Bill, Miami. The America 2. No, that's incorrect. Name the only martial art that is an Olympic sport. Miami, Todd. Taekwondo. 
No, that's incorrect. Sorry. What is Joe Montana's jersey number with the four? Miami time? 16. 16. <laughs> and uh, is, is that... Oh, keep going. Which Boston Red Sox pitcher threw the most shutouts in 1987? Miami time. Roger Clemens. All right, Roger Clemens. All right, and that, uh, that wraps up our 102nd round. And Oklahoma is the champion over Miami, 270 to 170. All right, let us resolve the questions that weren't answered correctly. The martial art that's an Olympic sport is judo. Uh, when Dennis Conner lost the America's Cup, he was sailing Liberty. Two fullbacks in a soccer game at the uh, in a soccer team at uh, one time. And name one of the two conferences in hockey where you had a division, but it's the Campbell and the Wales. So we'll be back to wrap it up at Boardwalk in just a moment.